everyone, welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This part of the next game, as we're about to be seeing the Seattle Kraken, the first time team making it in the franchise history to play against the opponent team in the Pacific of the California of the Los Angeles Kings. Now this is what nobody was giving Ings off, that the Kings never made it that far. Last time was a loss in Game 6, but didn't really approve that the Edmonton Oilers did beat against the Los Angeles Kings. But now, this is what happens already, that this faceoff is going to be opposing to take it over for Seattle and Los Angeles. And here how they uh, started it with the game, they are just keeping an eyes on the roll. With this setup, this might be a tough matchup between the Washington State of Seattle and California of Los Angeles right towards the lineup in this game to try to see what happens. But at this moment, we have to find out who will get the first win here in Game 1 at Crypto.com Arena. Right now, the, the superstar players are always on lineup. Drew Doughty, Anze Kupitar, and Kevin Fiala, and Yanni Gordy, and Jared McCann. Now, on to game number one of the second game here at Crypto.com Arena. This will be the last one here for day number two, and then we will head you back to the NBA playoffs as right at this moment. We got a lot of matchups coming up here, and this is going to be a lot of fun to keep an eye on the postseason. Now, standing by for the commentary, I will have is OJ, along with the broadcasting partner here of Fall Round Pen. And finally, in the center of ice, I will have Son of Beast take it over from here. And I'll be back with the post-game show after the game is over. See you all later after the final horn and the game. All you guys, take it away. It's that time again. Me phone here. But now OJ will take it over and ready for the Stanley Cup playoffs. This is where it comes in. The Pacific Coast team matchups. The Kraken and the Kings. Let us begin. With me OJ along with the other broadcasting partner. This is NHL on the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Courtesy lineups are being here as follows. We have his Adrian Kempe. Then we have his Quentin Byfield right towards the wing. On the other side, we have his Larson. Then across from here, we have his Everly and McCann right towards the left wing. The starting goaltender we have is Corpus Allo. Yeah, it will be the LA Kings. Then we have his Anze Kopitar. Across from the back of him, we have his Benitos. And we have his Everly right towards the wing. And Dunn right towards the center. Jones is the starting goaltender here for the Seattle Kraken for the second round. Now, this better have to be the play on this one. I really have seen what everyone was going to go for. After John Quick was definitely gotten traded off, he wants to give it up to another team. I really have seen it, what was going on. But the better this one play, it turned out, it really just stands out with the shot. But this moment, we really are saying that it looks like that Anze Kupitar and her team will have to try to keep him over here to keep him out of the range. I'll be watching on them. As this case, it goes by. On the start, Doughty passes over and broken up. Now Winberg will have the puck. Front of the neutral zone goes down. Do not with the puck. Pass back over again. Winberg over to Borshaw. Borshaw goes down. Diver call to the door. Now into the Kings to Kraken territory. Gives the puck away. And it looks like they are trying to keep it out of here. And Donato with the puck. Seattle on the offensive attack. Finding a room. And Corbizolo with a huge save. That has to be one. Because Corbizolo was really that well to try to play it in offense. And this one was a discoveration. This one's were putting up to be exhibition. What, what they did to keep that one coming. They're just going to keep that one here going with the shots. And that one, they're going to keep going with a lot of saves. Here's Fiala, stopped by Jones with 15.35 remaining in the first period. They'll get ready for the faceoff and be ready on ice. 
Right now, mid-period has been going on, as now it's Seattle Kraken, and, and the Kings have no scores in this game. Here's Gavrikov with the puck, now over to Roy. Fires one! Hits the goalpost! Valari to Lazette, over to Kiki. Forger with the puck. Forger over again. Power stopped by Corpozalo. Just got to keep that puck here, get it ready for the face-off in that offensive wing territory. Now they're ready to pay it on, and it's still scoreless. Here's Lizette, he wins the face-off, got a call over to get to Roy. Roy will try to give it off to I follow to Lizette. He gives it off to Velarde. Velarde on the move. Stop him in here by Jones Save. Garakov, Lizette, first scores! That's your first goal, he has 11 goals in the playoffs. Got a one up in lead to lead it off with a stop. The Lizette one, that was a very excellent play of this emotion. The better this one driving has come up here, OJ, that whenever Lizette gives up a, a pass off, he swings it ahead. That was his first goal in the second round of the Kings goal to pick it up in mounting. Roy right over into the wing. Now give it over again. Keep it running outside or right around the net. The Kraken will regain the group on offense right to Geeky. Now he gives over to Sprunge. Sprunge in the offense zone. Shoots one of the net. Rebound of the front. Stop by Corbisalo. Sprunge. Pass save me. Right toward the chest. Sprunge will try to keep it over again in the offense zone. Roy will try to take it over. Roy looks it over. The Kings are down the offense zone. Lizette. Over to Ipolo. Ipolo looking over to Gavrikov. Bad save by Jones. Call you out to McCann. Now Ozayek will try to clear it out. On the odd man rush attack. Ozayek shot. Bad save towards the right. Ozayek has the puck here now into the corner. Walker will try to give it off to Kalia. Veneers takes it away, leaves the puck zone, and Osayek will try to clear it out to try to find more open space. Veneers finds Everly. Shot stopped by Corbisalo. We're under 12 minutes left to play in the first period. It is a one update of the Los Angeles Kings. Both players are set, ready to take him bounding. The puck wins as Sochi will have one. Fires it! Takes the pad out of here! Gordy with the puck. Pass again to Sochi. Sochi and Kupari will try to take one here. Puck leaves his own. Kupari still holds on. Fires it! That shot was been blocked off. Gordia shot! Stop by Jones with this quick save. Easy on this one now because if Jones never going to make that save, it's going to be a hard one to keep up the run. Now the faceoff is ready for the Canes in Seattle as they only have a one up in lead. Now here's Dorsey. Bad save by Jones. Schultz finds Sochi. Right to Tovenin. Tovenin on the attack. Booked up by the wall. Tovenin fires and Corbisalo with the save. He will hold the puck here with only 10.41 remaining. They're still keeping it going, they've got to get back to work. Yeah, they better they have to do, and, and this is what everyone has to do. Don't get over this. You've got to stay on attack. Do not with the win. Walker passes over. Schwartz takes it away. Pass to Larson. Larson blocked the shot. Orbitson will try to keep it over into the wing. In the neutral zone, the offense zone. Wember. Passing over. Here's for Strong. Shot. Hit off the mask earlier as another save he comes in. Horshawn try to carry up. Now we'll swing to Larson. Larson passes him, broke it up, and Fiala will try to keep it over. Kevin Fiala, boom, it up. Fiala shot. Oh, glove save. We'll hold the puck with under 9 3 left to go. Passes the midway period. It is a 1-0 lead for Los Angeles Kings. They're still trying to keep up momentum. Now Kopitar, right to over again to Walker. Back to Byfield. 
Backhand, got a little chip on that, but Jones will have to cover it up. It's easy to say because the backhand shot was a very short inbound. It's not very that tricky that most people are really saying this. Whenever you're in most comfortable ways, it's going to be a very tough one to try to leave it out. The neck of this run cannot be determined out if you're going to get this one in. They've got to get through it. Jones will hold the bump of nine minutes to play in the first. Now they're back inbounding with another faceoff. Kopitar wins it. Los Angeles is on the back on the attack in Seattle territory. Block a shot and the delay penalty call. They are going to call for Seattle. Yep, interference is definitely the call. Adam Larson's in the penalty box. That's what's going to happen now. Seattle has the first penalty kill. And right now, Los Angeles has their first power play with only 8.45 remaining. And Gordy will take it over. Borgin fires it across in the Kane's territory. Now here's Kaliev. Pass to Kopitar. Over again to Kempe. Right towards the wing. Here's Kempe. Shot stopped by Jones. 8.18 left to play in the first period. They're trying to leave it open with the mark. Now they're ready for the face-off here, with just only 8.18 left to go. And Wimber will try to win the face-off here. Velarde, and a squeezing amount, still nowhere to keep it out of here. Here's Kaliev, passes to Kopitar, back to game to Velarde. Velarde looks over with an open room advantage, and stopped the pad by Jones. They're really saving it inbounding because this is a very not typical strength. Nobody has the right judgment to go with that one. And this shouldn't be that happened here before, that most players are considering it to be on a lucky bit behaving with this goal. This has to be another setup of the train. The train are, they gotta get this thing done. Here's another face-off coming up here. The Kings still have a one nothing lead over Seattle with 34 seconds of the power play. Here's Schultz with the puck. Fires it across over to the zone. Scoop up along the board by Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty back to Orbitson. Orbitson towards the wing. Looks like Larson is ready to get out of the penalty box. Larson shot and Schultz takes it over. Penalty kill is out. And right now the power play is over for the Kings. They're very well to keep that offensive running. But when you go back with the offense of the run, you know that SmackDown was putting up a very that hard. The Kraken of the, of the team are really are putting in danger. They're just putting a lot of, lot of hits in the game. But this is a dangerous part of a uh, team that they should not be doing. And get bumped up because this is a hard one to play that one in sports. Orbison fires the puck around the net. Puck clears out of the zone. It's Fiala with the puck. Pass over to Doughty. Do not over again to Orbison. Orbison around the defender. Trying to go with the move. Fiala shot. To Byfield. Jones picks up the huge save. And this one stops with 5.07 remaining in the first period. Officials about to get set here on ice as they're about to drop the puck. Frozen biscuits is dropped and right now the play resumes with five minutes remaining. Kicked away by Quinton. By Jones. Jones, excuse me. Gordy will try to live it over to Tolkien. Will it bubble it up towards the blue line? And Anderson will have it over to get to Byfield. Trying to keep it out of the net. Looking for a shot. Pat away by Jones. Fortune still covering the puck here with the battling for the loose puck. Gordy still holds on. Trying to leave the man open there. Bear went down. Bubbled up with a huge stop for the King Katane. 
Kovatar over to Byfield. Byfield and stopped by Jones. 3.28 remaining in the first period. Still a 1 0 lead. Now they're ready to do another face off in the game. It is still a 1 0 lead. They're just keeping ahead of them. Here's Kopitar. Roy! Rebounded up here after a pass save by Jones. McCann takes it over to Benilz. Passes again. Still a couple up by the wall. And Roy will have it back. Roy still having a little lot of difficulty rage. Roy back over to Byfield again to Kempe. Kempe in the corner. Blue Bear down! Ojin again right towards the offense. He's going right toward the wing in the center. Benir shot! Stopped by Corvazzolo. Recovers it. Benir's! Plus saved by Corvazzolo. He will hold the puck here ready for another faceoff attack coming up. Now they're ready to do another faceoff in between the zones. They still have a one loving lead for Los Angeles. Los Angeles wins the faceoff. Jersey over to Walker. Now gives it over to Kaliev. Kane's on the attack. Broken up the play. Horstrad will try to keep it over on the other side of the range. Now here's Larson. Pass the puck to Dunn. Over to Schwartz. Schwartz fires it across the round of net. Walker with the puck. Finds Dursey. Dursey again to Kapari. Kapari in his own. Down to a minute to play in the first period as Wenberg will try to recover it. Dunn with the puck. Try to go for the streak in motion. Dunn over again, broken up the play, and Walker will try to give her, carry it out. Here's Jersey. Over again to Anderson Dolan. Dolan over to Kayev. Kayev shot. That went wide up and right toward the wall. Kayev! That was too close and it was stopped by Jones. Ooh, that was very that tough. But in that case, I most of the mind because Jones was really saving it. Inbounding. The inbound is going to be a loose chain. If he doesn't get that one in there, that will be in the goal. Sochi over to Schultz. And Sprunch will carry over to Tarnev. Tarnev to fire it, and good glove save by Corbizolo. That will end the first period, and the Koi Kings got to clutch it in with a shot and goal to Lizette. one nothing is where we stand. We'll be right back after this. On to period number two, here we go. Period two begins now. With the total statistics of how they did in the first period, let's have Silver, let's have the ball round pen with a recap of how they did. The successful was really out of the range. The more sight that I have ever seen, the more range of out of there, I have saw what they are doing. They're really a tough. And more my occasionally, they just really are trying to like stay in the out of here. They want to like stay separated. They never really wanted to do this one again, like they have done it before. And at that all mo moment of time, this really is giving a hard and headache for the people that really have been turning out to try to like get the puck out of here and then try to like go right towards the offense zone to pick up their run. They really wanted to do it, and they have to like keep it right towards the steady of the line of the game. I really have seen so many other players taking advantage to try to knock somebody down. That could definitely be really hurtful. Los Angeles wins the faceoff as Dowdy will have it over again to Larson. Try to keep the puck in bounding. Veneers with the puck. Pass broken up. Now we're going to Arvidsson. Here he comes, back to Fiala, shot, saved by Jones. What a wake, what a making through with a huge stop, and with only 17.45 to go, it's still a one nothing lead. Now both teams are ready to take the lineups here. Right now, Denault will try to take the win over to Roy. Roy shot, slap shot, goes to Fleck it off the skater, the goaltender, I should admit. 
He fires around the net. Now over again. Roy. Over to the note. Over again to Fiala. Fiala right towards the right wing. Gets bumped down. Fiala trying to stay him out of here, but this is a hard one to try to keep it out. Oh, it's a shot! Rebounded at the flatgate! That went under siege! Under siege? I never even really heard about what the word was saying. Oh, it looks like that turned inbound it. And he scores! It's Schwartz! That's his ninth goal in the playoffs! They're now tied up by one! Whoa, man, Jaden Schwartz was definitely doing what he was supposed to do. I got a good replay of this one, guys. This is whatever happens because Jaden Schwartz was putting up an inbounding. After Morgan puts up in for the assist, then he got Schwartz to put it around the goaltender and try to go around Corpozolo. This is a hard one that nobody has ever done it like this. And because of that, this is a, this is a tough and inbounding that's keeping it going out of here. They will have to try to regroup it and try to get the goal connection to get a lead up by one. I'll be watching here on, on Schwart, Schwartenberg to find out if he gets it in there. Here on our side we have a Schwart. Now finds Gavrikov. Find this Velarde. Velarde lost the puck and now over again. Velarde back to high follow. High follow bumbled up. And Borgstrad has it right across with him. Moving right center for an attack and stopped by Corpozalo. Kopitar over to Gavrikov. Gavrikov right towards the middle in the offense zone. Shoots it around the net. Goes the fucking off again around the goaltender. Kopitar over right to Kepe. Kepe tries again. Scores! Back in the lead. It's 35 goals for Andre and Adrian Kempe. They're just keeping it out of here. The live is just making that one changeable. We know that Adrian Kempe was just putting up a great run to just put it up with a huge save. As for Corpensalo, I just saw that Kopitar got a good pass, but that was just a hard one to try to keep it out. They have no other words to say that this is what we do. You gotta stay focused. But this is the hard one that everyone has to maintain it. That's what you have to do. You're an inch closer to the midway mark of the piss period. They are still tied at it. And now with the lead, it's a 2-1 lead for LA Kings. Donato lost the puck. The Kings began their offense into the Kraken territory. Back to Kempe! Oh, hit the helmet out of here for Jones! Kempe scores! Isaac Kopitar receiving a one-time goal! They now extend it 3-1. That's a great setup of this drive. I like that AJ and Kemp was putting up or with the Kempe assist run. This incredible moment is just bringing on to leave, live it on going. They were very that professional because this is what everyone has to call for. Whatever the team gets, they do it the best as they can. Save the puck here by Jones as Byfield has it over. Kick the puck over again. Everly with the puck trying to go with the rebound. Larson with the puck over again to Everly. Everly lost it. Byfield recovers the puck. Everly takes it over. Now, into the offense zone to try to pick up the mound. McCann shot to flick it off the skater. Downey with the puck. Passes to Byfield. Byfield staying across from the net. Takes a slap shot, but it was sloppy. And Everly trying to take it over. Well, it's that sloppy shot. They just can just say that the man was right on him and then try to make it sloppy. All you could say was, if it, it was on him, then then you can't pass it and make a slap shot out of it. That was a very that close and nobody was ever seeing it. Go in by and then go from outside of the call. Houston Ed with the puck over to Soshi. And slap shot! That was too wide! And Ben Ear shot. Keep the pass saved by Corpozola. Over to Veneers, pass to Kupari. Kupari right over again to Dowdy. 
that is still trying to buy an open man advantage is Kupari will have one. Kupari! Hit the pad save! Kupari right over to the offensive wing. Lost the puck. Kalikev to Roy. To Kupari! Goes saved by Jones. We'll hold it with just 9.30 to go. They're still going. Yeah, it's, it looks like you're not stopping it here because if the both players are standing back, well, just got to give that one a right open call. If you know that one, Garrett, that will be a tough one, but you ever know. Viola Jones save here with just 9.01 to go in the second period. Listen up, fans. We still have the, some tickets left here in L.A. At, at the Sabian Media Center. This will be happening here on, on Sunday, June 25th of the of the show. So make sure you get your tickets now here at AnimeInsanity.com slash tickets here in LA and you can be the next one here to enjoy your show. I hope everyone will definitely try to say that it's going to be a one crazy show we have and if you can't come to the live stream can't go to the show here for the pretty, pretty experience. We have a live stream that's happening here at your local state. Make sure you have that one subscribed over if you can't make it to, to the show from New York and Los Angeles. But anyway, as we get back into this one part of the game, this might be a heavy one that nobody has ever seen. Jersey with the puck, now back to Walker. Fiala with the puck. Find it over to Arvidsson. Arvidsson still trying to look at the offense run. Pass broken up. Gordy with the puck and rebounding. They say that nobody would ever say that, oh, we should take that puck away. It's mine now. We don't want that anybody to try to go with aggressive plays. Here's another zone. Pass broken up. Schwartz with the puck. Oh, Kubasalo somehow delivers it to give a piece of it. And he stays out of the net. What a great call on this one. They're just going to like keep on that one you're going to try to keep it going back. Jones! He just stopped saving him inbounding with 6.31 to go in the second period. Still keeping it over with the tight scores. Now they're ready for the faceoff. Seattle trying to fight back. But they still have a 3-1 lead over the LA Kings. Now here's the third jersey to Walker. Walker went slammed down very hard, and Weinberger still trying to keep him out of sight. Here's Portrait. Pass to Portrait. Portrait still looking it over. Pass to the puck in front of his own. Corpusola with a huge save. Ball in front of loose puck. They're trying to get away with it. Portrait lost the puck. Schwartz with the puck. Pass over to Portrait. Over to Weinberg. Weinberg shot stopped by Corbizolo. Los Angeles regaining the group here to Jersey over to Kempe. Kempe racing towards it. Fires! Jones puts a stop here with 5.02 remaining in a second. That really has to be one of the better players of this game to try to go with the offense run. They're just going to have to try to call it for defense. Now here's Kavrikov. Kavrikov shot, fired, stop again by Jones and Borgium. Right to Eberly. Beverly. Try to reach over with the wall. Kicking the puck save. Veneers with the puck. Borgium with the puck. Back over Veneers. Veneers can't find anybody. Gert Surachev and Malkin. Veneers went down and Roy will try to keep it out of here. Rolling right towards the offense zone to pick up the run. Here's a pass. McCann seemingly can't find anybody open. Oh, this is not very that good because you know, I really do not want this to happen. Here's I follow right towards the wing. Looking for a man around the back and glove saved by Jones. Still looking very comfortable out here. It's still not quitting here. It's good to keep that one over. Because if you quit, you're never gonna wanna make it that time. You're gonna definitely be here out of the bench all night 
long. Don't let that one happen. Here's Anderson. Puck stop. Malorty. Swings away. Gloved out, and it's saved right outside of the net. Dowdy over to Anderson. Shot. Stopped by DK over to Sprung. Drew with the rebound. The Kraken are in the Kings territory. Fires it across. Stop away by the goaltender. Anderson will carry it out with the puck. Back to I follow. Larson to Sprunge. Seattle back in the offense zone with under two minutes to go in the first and second. He finds the net. Shot was blocked off. He goes right over it again to I follow. I follow to Velarde. He shoots and he stays it with the puck inbounding for the goaltender. Down to the last minute to play in the first and second period. As right now, second period is coming down to the end. Here's Sprunch. Kiki! Oh, out Corpusella with the save. We'll have to keep at him trying with just only under 30 seconds left to play in the first second period. They really are trying to keep that one going here. They really are going well and nice. Here's their win, Jersey. Do not Schwartz with the puck. Shot, stop by Corpozolo. 16.2 seconds in just about, about the end of the time of the second period. Now they're ready for the faceoff here and the attack. Los Angeles will win the faceoff here and Viala back over to Borchard. Five seconds remaining in a second. Larson, try to keep it out of here. Fourth shot, no time to take the puck out of it. And so that will do for the second period. What I'm making inbounding here, that's for a terrific play. Kopitar with the goal. 3-1 to one is where we left off. Third period coming up after the break. Hey guys, me Phone 4 here. And as right now, I will give you a quick announcement. Because we have a special a surprise here for you. That the new episode of The Deals is underway. It'll be happening here on May 25th on Lee Sotheby's. Finishes every day right now, and currently in the playoffs, before the finals happens. And then after that one, we will get right things off here into the new episode to kick it off for The Deals. Because that one, we waited too much to make that one maintain. But it's a hard one to uh, pressure it off because it may not be happening here in, in the day of this month. But it might be happening next month. Well, we'll have to find out if this happens once again. And, of course, you can make your cut casting your vote right now by leaving your comment box here below for the new season of NHL 24. So make your selections now. So leave a comment down in your box below. Now, back to OJ to finish the game of period number three. Here we are. The final period of game number one, the second round of the, of the NHL. It has been a tremendous night and we all enjoyed our moment and this is where it comes down to the final period. This is what everybody really loves about the game of the Pacific Coast team, the Kings and Seattle Kraken. How does it really turn out one of the best is here, Slip Ball Brown Pen? Well, the problem at this big point, it really has turned out to be one of the best part of the game. They really enjoyed it. The new franchise team is looking to make its run towards history in the game to move on to the second round. And then after that one, they really have to just admit a really doing it a lot that hard. They've done the best out of it. They're really doing really well to keep it right in front of it. I hope really this turns out that this is an amazing game to watch. Here's Kempe with the puck now back to Kopitar. Pass over again to Byfield. Kings on the attack. In the corner of the wall, Byfield. Pass to Kempe. To Kopitar. Shot releases. Then Jones saves me. Now hold the puck here with 824 to go in the third period. Keep your eyes tuned as right now tomorrow's game will happen here with the Sixers and the Celtics back in Wells Fargo Center, now be happening in Philadelphia to keep your eyes here with the next part of the game here in third game. After the game number two at the TD Garden Arena, 
That'll be the next game happening here on NBA 2K23 of the playoffs only on Summit Beats. Following along with another game as we have the Warriors and the Lakers. That'll be happening here on Wednesday. Keep your eyes tuned for that one. And then well, first day of the, this game, we've got another one to keep your eyes on the carry. As we have the Nuggets and the Clippers back at Mile High. And Friday will be happening to be here. Just only one and one. That happens to be with the tough ones that you know it. The ultimate of the team. The Bucks and the Cavaliers. Back at Fiserv.forum. That will be happening here all for one of each games here on each day at 7 p.m. for tonight of this game. But only two games that will be happening here at 9.30 p.m. And after that one, we will head you back to the NHL to do it again. So that will be coming up here in just a few moments here for next week. Keep your eyes tuned, they will be on their way. The Buckley resets and right now they are ready to take the face off here into the Kings territory. Nearing the closer of this period, it's a 3-1 lead, LA Kings up by two. Here's Roy. He'll make his way down to the neutral faceoff zone, finds Arvidsson. Arvidsson shot, hit off the mask, and what a catch he made! That was like a tricky one, I've never seen what was going on. But it must have been a dear that it must have been a, a very tough one to go right from the mask. And he just saw that one coming. And he did, and he noticed, he looked it up, and then he caught one. I did not even notice, that was the clear save. Here's Osayek with the puck. Now pass to, to Tovinen. Tovinen, entering his own. Gets bumbled up by a defender, and Fiala will have to recover it. Fiala looking over. Trying to give a pass to Roy. Roy passes to Denault. Denault racing towards the offense zone. Gordy takes it away. Passes to Tovinen. Gets bubble down. Borgin has the puck recovered. Gordy shot. Blocked up by Roy. Los Angeles are in the attacking zone into the Kraken territory. Gordy! Pat Sandy hit by Jones. Following for the puck on the chain for the loose puck. Now he covers it. And Seattle will grab their way back to the offense zone. Tisha off the drop. Corbisolo saves it again. Holds the whistle of bounding and face off is underway. We haven't hit, mid, hit the midway mark in this period. It's still 3 1. The LA Kings, popular team since 2014. Yeah, definitely true. You know, but this wasn't the only one that everyone keeps on talking about. Since we've seen the Stanley Cup Finals, the Rangers and the Kings, they're not really the one of the tough ones to be out there for the rival matchups, but sometimes they do always have the rival matchup. They never see that one going. But that was all that did happen, but they are keeping an eyes on to give it right off of there instead. Spurs blocked the shot, and delayed penalty called at Seattle. That will be a slashing call, and they're going to have to stop in the middle of the play. Oh yeah, this is not very that good because Daniel Sprunge in a penalty box, it is not that good. Now the Kings are in the power play getting ready to get to work. Kopitar wins the faceoff. Dowdy right towards the corner, trying to give off the play, to pass it, it's blocked up by McCann. One on one on the pass break, bubbles up for the corner, McCann, Valley for the loose puck and a chain. Kempe, right around the back here, going over into the offensive territory run. To make the run, and Jones, picks up a save, Puck leaves his own. One time remaining for the power play of the Kings. Here's Fiala right towards the wing. Pass over to Kopitar. Kopitar right towards the middle here. Trying to look over for the up and then offender. Campaign room. Shot saved me by Jones. Goody run. Oh, what a stop. And that goes up into the glass. 
that was a runoff play because this was happened here because of Jones was doing a lot that much hard. And Martin Jones really is saving that big. That was a hard one to keep it out. Campaign pulls down. Schultz has the puck. Daniel Sprung is ready to get it back on the ice. Pass to Doughty. Fires Wimber take it over. Power plays over for the Los Angeles Kings. Now they must have a run to get back into the game. Well, you know, this was very that difficult. What a nice job here for Jones. He really did turn out one of the better play. And this angle, he could definitely uh, keep on that one going to keep it out and then try to like give it up to somebody else. Nearing closer to the midway mark in this period, the LA Kings extended the two. Three and one is the score. Anderson has the puck, now let's drag it over to Drow Dowdy. Dowdy lost the puck and McCann has it over. Here's Larson and Veneers back into the Kings territory. Bubbled up on the corner of the wall. Everly to Larson, shot, three flips, no stop here, and a stopping made by the goaltender. Seattle picks up the inbound, now back into Kings territory. Shoots one! That saved me by Corpozolo. Kopitar right towards the right. Wimberg will try to take the steal in his own. Larson. Larson it up! One timer! Stop me by the goaltender. Big stop! Downey with a rebounding after a Corpozolo save. He never really wants to give up. He just really just keep wanting to keep it alive, and he does it again. Schwartz over to Dunn. Dunn. Pass over again to Beniers. Beniers looking it over. Here's Dunn. Shoots. Rebound scores. That's Schwartz. Two goals in the game. They're down by one. It's going to be a close one. you got to say that Jaden Schwartz done it again. And thanks to Vince of the Vin Dunn. He's trying to get that one here, a good run to keep it inbounding. They're down by one with 8-11 to go in the third period, already past the midway period. They are trying to answer back. Here's done. Will he take the tie? First try! Lost the puck and Arvidsson with the pucking, now into the air offensive territory. In the attacking zone, rebound! Went behind the net and goes right toward the corner. Here's Wenberg. Wenberg swinging it over again. Nobody out here in front. Viola, pass, Orbison. Lost the puck here, couldn't be able to make the shot. And a textbook save by Jones. We have another one to take up for another face-off win. Still a 3-2 game. It's a, it's a tough one to call for at least. Another face-off win for the Kraken. Borgen over to Sponge. Fires it across around the net. Roy with the puck. Over to Denault. Viola over to Arvidsson. Wow, hello out there. Shoots! Rebounds! They're not able to save the puck. That would have been a 4-2 score. Well, that close one, it looks like a defender caught him. He spread shot off the glass and goes right towards the wall. Call it to Gabakov. Taking a loose puck in the chain. Kiki has the puck over to Tanev. Tanev shoots one and it's Roy with the block shot. Still recovering for the puck. Seattle back in the offense zone. Tanev pass to Sprunge. Shoots and stopped me by the goal by the defender. Still a lot of defending rebound. Anderson Dolan will have it out. And Kupari right over to the other side. Kaliev's got the puck here. We are under five minutes to play. Now it's Borgin. Kicks the puck out to Gordy. The Kraken are back into the offensive zone to pick up another attacking run. Go side shot. Rebound it. And Corpusala saves it once again. And it's Dolan right towards the offensive zone. Gets fumbled up and Tolvanen will recover it. Olsayek with the puck. Into the wing. 
Looks to Gordy. Shoots one. Reboot. And scores. They tie this game. Crooked. Not giving up in the first period to the third, but they found one. Yanni Gordy. That's an excellent move bounding, and I just have to say, Yanni Gordy was definitely a rebounding saving over for the team's offense at the line. This was happening here, guys, because this was a tough one that the Kraken are coming back in towards the third period to tie this game. But it may be harder than you know to keep that one going. I'll be watching him if he gets another goal to keep in the lead or out of here. Back to you all. Here's Donato. Shoots the puck. Stop again by Corbizzolo. Byfield swings to Anderson. Anderson to Kempe. Bumbled up in the corner. Finds Kopitar. Kopitar shot. And Jones got it saved here. They leave it off the dust. But he gladly recovers it. That's what everybody does. Keep the puck in with you. Don't let it get away with that. The LA Kings wins the faceoff. Another easy textbook save here by Jones. Kicks the puck away to Broy. Broy to Fiala. Bucked away by Jones. Arson. Save me by Jones. Here's McCann. They're ready to go right into the attacking to lead it off. McCann to Everly. Shoots one. That is way off the mark. And it's done. Over to McCann. McCann still finding an open man, finding over done to Everly. Everly takes it a crack, and Corbizalo will have to stop the play with just coming down to 90 seconds in the third period of the regulation. They are still getting a lot of shots in the game. And this one was a lot of all tricky shots that they're going for. For the LA Kings, they have 55. And for the Kraken, they got 44. There's definitely an up and down in the arrow. From the visiting team, a lot of goals, shots on goals, to the own side of uh, the shots on goal in this game. Well, it's pretty honestly to be kept, but this wasn't always that happening. Because of this one, was turned out to be a very harmful, painful look, and they're trying to keep it in its own. Larson shot, and it's stopped made by Corpozzolo. Schwartz, inside the zone! Ooh, got a good piece of it to keep out of the net. And Corbettar, no offside call, Byfield, Jones picks up a save, on the other side it goes, we're down to 39 seconds left in the third period. The win for Lozzetti, and he lost the puck on that one. Schwartz trying to go right around the man. But he's all tied up now. Seattle regains their group. Weber, ooh, bang down. Roy with covering the puck, battling for the loose chain. Roy with the puck, now into the zone. Out of the Kings territory, into the neutral zone. Fires off. Borgia has the puck. They got to get this one done. They better get it right. They're really to beat it. Shoots! Oh, they did not count the goal, and that one's off the goaltender. Well, they should have counted that one here, because at that point, they are just keeping it out of here. We are out of regulation. Overtime, next. Well, it all comes down here. Overtime in between the Kraken and the Kings for the first time in the second round since Seattle Kraken had made a win against the Vegas Golden Knights to move on to the next round. And for the LA Kings, they have definitely also made it to the first round and on to the second round to play against the Seattle Kraken of the EA Sports of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. This might be a tough one that no one is ever going to go for. The Pacific Coast teams are a hassle. I don't think it's a hassle because it looks like they really are trying to like keep that one going. Because of all that happens right now, they've got to get the going and get it done. Well, it all comes down here. The overtime is next, and now we're ready to get things settled up. We will find out who will get a game winning in overtime for the first game. Will it be the Canes, or will it be Seattle? Let's uh, find out and see who wins this game. Here we go. Overtime starts now.
And this is we're down to the final part of overtime. It's where it comes down to to the first game of the second round. Overtime about to begin now. Kepe Jones, what a save me! And we'll be holding the puck with under with under siege period. Now they'll have to do is like they got just keep trying to make it happen quick. It looks like the Kempe wants to win against the goaltender. That's a tricky setup. They're just getting it out of here, and then nobody has ever seen that coming by. They really want to get that win out there. He's Everly with the puck now finds Veneers. Veneers right toward the entering his zone. Anderson takes it away, and Byfield has it across. Across it to Kempe. Done. Rebounds the puck. Everly! He could not hold on as Larson will try to keep it out for a defender. Veneers. Swing around the man in the corner of the wing. Bumbled up. Kovatar back to Kempe. Kempe still looking for anybody else's open pass. Looking over towards the wing. Finds Byfield. Larson takes it away. Everly over again. In the Seattle Territory. Now in the Kings Territory. Veneers lost the putt. Kovatar takes it over. They really are battling along here. The Sea Monsters, they're really that great team. But for the Kings, they really want to clash it. They wanted to keep them out to have their own defensive setup. The scores is very impossible because if there is a like, Sea Monster that happens here, they could definitely say that, Kings, we, we are under attack. The Sea Monsters are here. And that might be what they have. And scores! Schwartz wins the game! And he receives his hat trick in the first win in overtime. That was ever happened before. And you know, Schwartz wins it. The Kraken wins the game over the Kings on a great start. A 1-0 lead series of Seattle. There you have it. Jaden Schwartz makes a win. That receiving hat trick of his game, and that was an epic win. Well, as for being said, OJ along with Ball Round Pen and Son of Beast, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. Alright there, OJ, thank you very much. And Schwartz wins in overtime. At 4 3, a great run, a great finish. Let's have your three star players in the game. Your third star goes out to Ante Kopitar. A goal assistant, two hits. Really turned out one of the best part of the games, and he made that goal release it. And a second star goes out on the other side, Martin Jones. 55 saves this game. He really did turn out one of his best performance. And your first star, it goes to Jaden Schwartz. A hat trick, goals. Three in a row. Your overtime winner, that does happen to end the game here. Here's how they did with the total statistics on the other side. 48 shots on goal for Seattle and 58 shots on goal for the Kings. 26 hits for the Kings and 19 for Seattle. 7 of 7 and 636 are the time on attackers for the Kings in Seattle. Then 91% to 84% here for the Seattle Kraken and the Kings. 12 faceoff wins for the Seattle and 36 for the Kings. Four minute penalty box for Seattle and two, two minutes to four minutes for the Kings in the power play. No power play goals had made. So that ends up with a Seattle. A great win. They are on the board now. They will have another more coverage here of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs coming up in just a few moments after the NBA playoffs for one of each games. That will be happening here with the starting of this game. We've got the Bucks and the Cavaliers. Here at Fiserv.forum, happening on Wednesday's game. And then, happening along with a Friday night's game, we have the Clippers and the, and the Nuggets back in Mile High. That'll be the next one to keep your eyes tuned on for the next part of the game. Anyway, me from 4 is out of here. Thanks for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports style. Have a great night everyone from LA, LA Town and Seattle. Of the, of the making with the best win to have it all down. Thanks for tuning with us, and we'll see you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.